Hello, welcome to the Red Ben TV. I'm here outside the Anfield Road end uh, at the Food Bank Collection Point. Uh, once again, it's an important time of year, uh, and we just want to obviously make everybody aware that this fight will not go away, and we need everybody's support. Uh, if you can donate to the food banks, then please do, of course. Ian. It's always an important fight this, isn't it? But now, this time of year, the cold's setting in, yeah. uh, it's obviously massively important again. Yeah, absolutely, yeah. And also massively important with the impending rollout of Universal Credit. So, unfortunately, there uh, the is a humanitarian crisis at the moment, which is only going to worsen, certainly, in our communities. So, we've been so conservatively that we've got to double what we normally collect to cope with Universal Credit within the North Liverpool constituency. So, uh, yeah, it's uh, every uh, donation is great to see them. I'm absolutely delighted to work with Les and Jamie and the Carrigan Foundation who've been uh, steadfast in their support over the last three years. When we were asked by the food banks, you know, what could we do to help, then that we could use Jamie's influence and social media and whatever to actually encourage more people to actually help uh, the fan support and food banks. Jamie, your foundation is supporting uh, the food banks. How important is this to, to you and that, that your foundation can actually support these? Yeah, massively important. I mean, it feels like the last probably month to six weeks has been right in the forefront of social media. Getting, it's getting out there and it's how important it is, what they do. But I think for the last couple of years we've been involved, along with other people. There's, there's other yeah. people on this van. Uh, it's not just the 23 Foundation, a big part of obviously Everton and Liverpool football clubs. We thought, why not do something that would benefit the local community using the potential of 40 or 50,000 fans coming into the community every other weekend as a resource to fight and to tackle food poverty within the Mountain constituency. I think last year we, said we, we actually fed 7,000 people last year. I mean, when we very first started we had two distribution centres, then when I came into post we had five distribution centres, we've now gone up to 14 distribution centres in quite a short space of time. Unfortunately the food isn't keeping up with the demand at the moment. I mean at the moment we've got tons of milk, I mean that looks a lot of milk, that is probably two weeks supply. 300 litres there, in two weeks that will be gone. I mean, we've got a new van today, uh, which has been donated by uh, Peter Moores uh, quite magnificently. So it's a bigger van. It's double the size of the old van. So it's uh, it's an apt uh, time to actually get supporters to uh, donate. Liverpool fans and them fans have been magnificent over the last three years. But now, unfortunately, with uh, the impending rollout, as I said, the universal credit and austerity, we need it more than ever. Well, it's important. I mean, it's great to be able to do this, but it's also sad that we have to do this here, particularly um, in Liverpool, with everything that we've got going on in this world. World, the fact that people still can't feed themselves and you the unbelievable work that Vic and Ian and Dave do is stunning and, and you know it's not difficult for me to be able to contribute what I believe is necessary here and, and to be help you help uh, bring this van here it's going to be twice the capacity um, which again is sad that we need something of this nature but being able to help families feed themselves in these times of austerity is very very important here and set them off you know the idea of a food bank is good to give them 72 hours worth of food and hopefully then they can get past whatever's going on in their lives but I, i'm delighted that i can be able to in, in a very little way be able to help them along here people think it's just for people who are homeless and, and scrounging but it's not it's pe people who are working who've got jobs and families who are, who are struggling in, in uh, Liverpool at the moment. I think 60% of people that use the food banks are actually in work poverty, uh, zero hour contracts. If everybody who enter the match, if you think you've got 35,000 people going to a match, if they all just brought one item, like a jar of jam or a, a bag of mashed potato, tin of custard, tin of rice pudding, which are all things we need, if everybody just bought one, I mean that's 30,000 items a week coming in and that would feed an awful lot of people. There's probably not more important than, you know, families putting food on the table. Uh, there's obviously a big initiative with homelessness as well, that's very important. But in terms of helping families, and we know how, how, how tough it is at times. Uh, in the areas I grew up in Bootle, uh, you know, we're in Anfield now, you've got Walton just there where, where Everton is really, so it, it's not easy for family. So the, the people that you help, this is probably as, as important as any. I'd love to actually start going to match again and not putting two or three, four hours in before the match and a couple of days before the match organising the fight against food poverty and it'll be great and, and that's the challenge we face. I want every food bank in this country to close down. I don't want any food poverty.